Lucas the Northern Planter here today and we are going to be looking at planting wildflowers. So I'm doing two versions of it. Um, I'm doing one with a wildflower shady garden for areas with reduced sunlight because my whole backyard is reduced sunlight. So um, I'm going to do these guys and show you how I'm going to start them. Um, I don't think a lot of these will come back next year just based on what area I'm in. I'm in a zone 3B so this will just be a, a one time thing for me. I won't use the whole bag because it does 7,000 square feet, I think I read somewhere on the package. Yeah, 7,000 square feet. So, there you go. We'll be doing those ones. Um, and then we will be doing Sunny Variety. And these ones are, we'll call this my unboxing. Um, for the Honey Nut Cheerios. Uh, one that was out on the internet that you can sign up for. So I signed up for this guy and it actually just showed up here not too long ago. So there's a 50 cent Honey Nut Cheerios coupon in there. Um, there is a... Yeah, so there's um, a Bring Back the Bees cue card that basically tells us why it's so important for us to uh, make sure we're taking care of them. And then there's the packet of seeds, so. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys how to plant these ones. Anyone who has got me Honey Nut Cheerios, Bring Back the Bees packages, um, you can take a look at what I'm doing. Um, I know, I think this might be only a Canadian thing, I'm not sure if they did it for the American side or if you guys even have Honey Nut Cheerios. But um, basically signed up online and they sent out I have the numbers here. Um, they're going to help plant over 100 million wildflowers across Canada. So, yeah. Um, so, I'm actually going to start mine inside because I want flowers sooner in the year. Uh, and also, it's all really cold. It's still snowing here. And it is currently. April 22nd, so April 22nd, still snowing, still getting it to minus temperatures. So I'm going to start my wildflowers inside this year. I also recommend starting wildflowers for anyone who um, doesn't have ideal growing conditions. So anyone who wants flowers early in the year, start your wildflowers inside. Um, if you want them to reseed themselves every year, um, try to start them inside because you want to ensure that your seed population is on the up and up. So by seeding early in the year, you're making sure that your seeds are going to land earlier. Um, I don't mean, when I say seed early, I don't mean start your flowers in February. I do mean April, May, in and around there. Um, especially if you're in an area like me. If not, and you can plant outside right away and expect good germination rates in April, May, then go for it. So I'm gonna try something a little bit different on the giant package and then this other package we're going to do um, another way. So these are two different ways to do it. I'm going to basically make one half more of a mat situation. So like a, a wildflower mat that I can then cut um, and then put into the garden where I please as like a square or circle, whatever the case may be. Um, so I will do the, the follow-up video for that when I do go to plant them and show you how it works and all that stuff. It's a complete experiment on my part. I've never done this before. So if it fails epically, it fails epically. If it doesn't, it's great. This one, I'm doing it the safe way, so I'm doing it the way that you're supposed to do it. And um, the way, if you want to make sure it happens, and you don't want to experiment, you would plant these ones the way that I'm going to plant it. So. I'm going to just split this tray in half and then go from there. So the wildflower seeds, because they're a mixed variety, there's a, a plethora of different 
uh, plant in this. Um, the Honey Nut Cheerios one does not tell you what's in it, so I'm excited to show you guys when they do come up, we can play name that flower and figure out what came with these. Um, this one does tell me what's in it, and it's not the flowers on the front. <laughs> so the flowers on the front have poppies, daisies, uh, chrysanthemums, um, looks like there's a begonia in there. Like these aren't, this, the, what the, the pictures on this are not what's in this package. So, um, uh, yeah. So let's get started. This one is full sun, so you will be in my front yard. And like I said before, this one is um, for shady areas with low light. They're not going to go in full shade because they won't flower if they do. So I'm going to put them in uh, part sun. So we know what part sun is because we went over this before. Five hours or less, four hours or less of sunlight. And it's not high noon sun, it's morning sun or evening sun, right? So we know that already. So we've already done a video on it. So, um, basically what this tells me to do is shake the bag well before using. Sew into a sunny or partially shaded area in early spring and early summer. Clear, blah, blah, blah. Even these scattered mixture of seeds, so we're not following this rule. We're going to do this one second, actually, because I need to be able to clear the soil out of the one area for the bee one. <coughs> this one. Choose a location that gets sun most of the day, bees like sun, till the soil, remove any weeds, sprinkle the wildflower seeds, and cover with soil, not too much. Keep the soil moist by watering every two to three days until the seed comes up. Covers 15, 10 to 15 square feet. Cool. So, we're packing these in there a little bit tight, but we know we're going to keep them in here forever, right? So, um, so the soil we're using. This is actually old planter soil. Um, I don't use my good soil for my seedlings. I use my good soil for my pots and the um, pots I repot with my new soil that I buy every year. Um, so this is old soil and that's what I do for all my seedlings when I come to repotting. So all I'm going to do, I'll stand back here. Um, this isn't moist yet because I'm going to water it when it gets out there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move um, this over. There's a plant in there. Um, so I just took off a tiny, 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 tiny layer. Ta -da! And we're only doing half of this, right? Up. Yeah, so I recognize some of these seeds. Um, it looks like poppy seeds, um, marigold seeds of some sort. Um, I recognize these ones. There's like the ones with the little spikes all over them. I recognize that. I can't remember what the heck they are though. Um, looks like there's canary seed in here. Yeah, there's a whole bunch, so. Don't you guys see? Focus, focus, focus. Okay, put that. I'm just gonna sprinkle these on, literally. No specific place. No specific order. I'm just going to cover them. Get that stuff out of there. Okay. So, that half is done. Now, this half. We're actually going to plant it almost like a, um, what's that word, like, uh, the wheatgrass, like, that you see at the health food stores and, like, the juice stores and stuff where they have, like, that mat of grass. This is a very similar style that we're going to do here. So, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a line here. So that's my line. I'm going to see this half. So, 
So the pros and cons to what I'm doing with this is that it needs scissors and I don't have any. <laughs> Hold on. This way. Dirt buggers, this is not all seed. There is like a bunch of vermiculite in here, actually. This is not all seed, okay. I was expecting this just to be a giant bag of wildflower seed, but it's totally not, so. There is vermiculite in there, which if you guys don't know, it like swells up. This looks like uh, gold, almost. You can like squeeze it together, just play it with it at my grandma's house all the time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like a mat. That's literally what we're gonna do. Um, if you want to make sure all the varieties germinate, all the varieties do really well, I do not recommend this. I recommend putting it directly into your garden or doing a bunch of trays that are nicely spaced apart, etc. and so forth. Um, for this situation, the cons of it and the issues that you will run into are going to be the taller plants are going to shade out the short plants. And the short plants will obviously die off or not grow flowers, or etc. and so forth. So that is the pros and cons. You're probably not going to express all the seed varieties in this. Um, if you're lucky, you might, but I'm not confident that I will. And I don't. I'm not going for that, so that is the disclaimer. If you want to express all the varieties in this seed pack, make sure that you properly you follow the instructions and everything like that. I'm doing a shortcut for like easy planting, space filling, wanting to put um, easy to care for plants in an area that I don't want to spend a bunch of money basically buying plants for. So try these guys out. So I'm going to literally fill half this tray up with junk and um, I will show you after I'm done. Okay, ta-da! I'll give you a closer up view. As you can see, you can see all the vermiculite in there. Um, I can't see a ton of seeds, but I'm not surprised by that because uh, wildflower seeds are really small. So um, that doesn't blow me away at all, that I can't actually see the seeds. So, um, in amongst all this other junk that's in there. So there's my mat. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to water it and I'll put a white tray on top and I will show you what it looks like when it's done and then I will show you when it germinates and then I will show you when I plant them. So uh, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, give me a comment. Let me know. Um, let me know if you got the Bring Back the Bees um, seeds as well and let's see if we got the same ones and if our germination rates match and um, all that stuff. So. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy wildflowers. If not, don't plant them. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Peace, love, and plants. And you guys have yourself a wonderful weekend, evening, morning, whatever the case may be. Bye. What are you doing with that beaver hide? Are you playing with it? Yeah.